once in every lifetime Come to love like this Oh, I need you Sacrifices. I myself have generously donated my used tissue collection. <laughs> and Vivian has burnt everything near loads. Because I'm never mind about all that now. I'm more interested in sorting out this O level business. I've got a forfeit for your house! Sounds like suckers, ready? <laughs> hey, oh, we're not having broken crockery again. That's my recipe. I don't seem to be able to nail the plates to the table without breaking them. Neil, Neil, Neil! Nails aren't in the recipe! I'm not cooking, Vivian. I'm just trying to nail the plates to the table. Neil! Neil, Neil! Is it really necessary to nail the plates to the table? What happens when we want to play Monopoly? Go directly to plate! Do not pass plate nailed to the table by a stupid hippie! No, 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 guys. Guys, you don't understand. I've got something well scary to lay on you, OK? So, like, sit down. What do you mean, sit down? There's only one chair. Do you expect us all to put our bottoms on that and catch horrible diseases off each other? It's not important, really. Well, I think it is rather important, actually. I happen to be rather attached to my bottom. Well, I've got a couple of seats in my car. All right. Well, we'll have to use them, then. No, um, they're attached. I mean, you're sitting them while you're driving. I suppose I could drive the whole car in. No, 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 no. Better idea. We'll go out there. Aha! Uh -huh. No, no, wait, guys, guys. What about my scary story? Oh, uh, yeah, that's a point. We won't be able to hear Neil from out there. Oh, well, you just have to make us a tape, Neil. No, no, that's no good. My cassette's bust. Oh, well, you just have to come out there with us. No, no, no good either. I've only got two seats. I could go in the boot. No, no, no. Because if you so much as touch my car, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, Neil. Yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah, great idea, Mike. Uh, hey, guys, uh, look, I've got something well scary to lay on you, OK? So, uh, squat down. <laughs> yeah. Squatting, right on, youth control, no rent. Now, listen. Neil, is it my imagination or is this table shrunk? That's what I've been trying to tell you for the last ten minutes, right? 
Strange things are happening in this house. Furniture keeps disappearing. Plates keep, like, moving about the place. The table is shrinking. And last night, I found my guitar on the fire. <laughs> Do you know what all this means? Yeah, No, no. Yeah. It means we've got a poltergeist. Don't be stupid, Neil. There's no such thing. Don't be such a spasmo, Neil. <laughs> yeah, there's no ghosts. There's no God. There's a perfectly rational explanation for any kind of phenomena you might encounter. Oh, yeah? Well, how do you explain the table shrinking there? Ah. Oh, uh... Well, um, I did that, actually. <laughs> It's making him float. <laughs> ah! Get a priest! Get a vicar! I believe in God! <laughs> Never mind a priest, call an ambulance. Why, Mike? I'm just nailed my legs to the table. <laughs> uh, what's the matter? Sore throat? Yeah. Yeah, hold it. Privy. Privy. Aren't thou saying that Bacon wrote all of Shakespeare's plays? Yeah. Which bit of bacon? Was there? Bacon hasn't got hands. Look, I'm not prepared to discuss it. All I'm saying is they found a manuscript in a packet of bacon. Codpiece face. What did you say? I said 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 codpiece face. What did you say? I said. No, don't be evasive. Oh, sod it. shopping street on a busy Saturday morning. Say, for instance, that this huge meringue filled with whipped cream is a young mother loaded down with groceries. And perhaps this enormous, soggy, overripe tomato is a tiny little girl who doesn't realize what a dangerous place her exciting new world is. And let's assume that this cling film parcel of mashed banana and jam is a deaf senior citizen <laughs> in a wheelchair and is blind. And this cricket bat with a breeze block nailed to it is your car. Now what happens if your car mounts the pavement? <laughs> think once, think twice, think don't drive your car on the paper. <laughs> oh, 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 over here! Over here! Over here! Over here! Over here! No, no, that's a goldfish bowl. Put it down. No, that's a grapefruit. Now, will you please pick me up before this woman farts again? <laughs> six times today already. <laughs> yeah. Nice day. No, it's not. It's snowing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, I mean, if you like snow and being really cold, it's a nice day. Well, I don't. And you're letting cold air in. Now, what do you want? Um, could I borrow a cup of sugar? Please. Number one. How many is that you've had? Yeah, rot your teeth, you know. Yeah, I was a bit worried about that, so I had all mine kicked out before I came round. <laughs> Thanks for Do you think I could have some of my cups back sometime? <sighs> yeah, yeah. They yeah. are. You're not very comfortable, Rick. No, I'm bloody not! <laughs> 
Why can't you use Vivian as a chair? He burnt them all. Because I've been out gathering winter fuel, haven't I? Look, Mike, I've got another one. Oh, nice one, Vic. <laughs> guys, guys, guys. Guys, I think I've solved our money problem. I'm writing to my bank manager. See what you think, OK? Dear bank manager. Yeah? Well, that's it. <laughs> I'm quite pleased with it so far, though. Oh, well, it's a strong opening, certainly. I don't like the dear. Sounds a bit too much like, will you go to bed with me? <laughs> well, spotted, Vivian. Uh, what do you think instead? Oh, what about darling? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> darling <laughs> bank manager. No, 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 not bank manager. It's far too crawly bum lick. <laughs> Tell it like it is. Put fascist bully boy. <laughs> Darling fascist bully boy. That's nice, yeah, so far so good. So what do you want to say? Well, basically, I want to ask him if I can have, like, an extension on my overdraft, but I know there must be a better way of putting it than that. <laughs> well, what about, uh, give me some more money? Right. You, you bastard! <laughs> Don't you think that's a bit strong, do you? Ah, Neil, people like that respect strength. Yeah, you're right. Uh, darling fascist bully boy, give me some more money, you bastard. <laughs> uh, love Neil. <laughs> Neil? That sounds far too much like, come and get it like a bitch funky sex machine. Yeah, you're right. Uh, uh, what about yours sincerely? Oh, come off it, Neil. If you're going to be that sycophantic, why don't you go around there now and stick your tongue straight down the back of his trousers? <laughs> oh, no, no, I know, I know. Uh, why not, why not put Boom Shanker? Ah, that's hard to tell, Neil. What does it mean? It means, may the seed of your loin be fruitful in the belly of your woman. Ah-ha! Uh -huh. And what makes you think your bank manager's a man? His beard. <laughs> He'll never understand Boom Shanker. You'll have to write the whole thing out. Right, OK, here we go. Darling fascist bully boy, give me some more money, you bastard. May the seed of your loin be fruitful in the belly of your woman. Neil. <laughs> If that doesn't work, I don't know what will. The only trouble is we're running low on fuel. Viv, chuck it on the fire. Oh, where's my supper, Neil? Coming. Yeah, I'm so hungry I could eat my own earwax. And we all know how horrid that tastes. Right, kids? Mike, Mike, did we burn the sofa? Yeah, I'm afraid so, Viv. I thought we did. <laughs> Right, here it is, OK? Uh, now, eat it up quickly, OK? What's this? Uh, it's risotto, Mike. It's snow, isn't it, Neil? <laughs> no, 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 it's probably just gone cold, Viv. Neil, it is snow! No, it's risotto, Viv. No! I know snow when I see it! <laughs> I should do, it's all I've had to eat for the last three days. <laughs> well, it's very nourishing, Vivian. Snow, snow, bloody snow! I hate the bloody side of it! Don't you want yours then, Viv? <laughs> well, I didn't say that, did I, Mike? <laughs> oh, God! This is disgusting! Don't blame me. I didn't cook it. All right. Why can't we have some decent food? Because we haven't got any bread. Well, why don't we get some bread? Because, Vivian, we haven't got any bread. OK, OK. <laughs> this has gone far enough. House meeting! House meeting! House meeting! Biff, wake up, Rick. Rick! Wake up! Wake up, Rick. House meeting. Oi, oi, book thou just list, please. Thank you. Now, look, this is my body, that one there is yours. Rubbish! You're only saying that because this one's got a nicer bottom. <laughs> well, I know it's mine because that bum's got no rhythm. I don't believe this! Look! Ah. <laughs> no, don't be done of it. That's it. You are cynically exploiting the fact that we've been beheaded so you can grab yourself a nicer bottom. Oh, for sooth's sake. Look, this is my bottom. Forget it, forget it. We'll split the bottom. Work right down the middle. Look, there's no need to get aggressive. I am not getting aggressive! You are, Rick. I can sense it. <laughs> I am not. I just don't see why it has to be me who gets a job. Well, it can't be me. I lead an alternative lifestyle. <laughs> alternative lifestyle? 
You're Matt's alternative is Channel 4! <laughs> All right, now why don't we look for a job in the paper? <laughs> Here we are. I'm sorry about that bang, I just fired a gun. <laughs> Here we are. Situation's vacant, pages 7 to 13. Be much choice, does it? Oh, wait, look there, what's this? <laughs> Join the professionals. It's great, you can have a gun if you want. Ah, uh, well, yeah, no, yes, well, you see, uh, that's me out, you see. Uh, perforated eardrum. Really? <laughs> yeah, me too. Uh, pardon? Flat feet. <laughs> well, that just leaves me away. What? No, no way! No, why can't it be Vivian for a change? Ah! Uh, uh, well, Neil, um, since you come to mention it, um, th th there is something I've been meaning to tell all, all of you <laughs> for some time. Um, I, I went to see uh, the, the doctor today, <laughs> and, well, I think I'm pregnant. <laughs> what? what? I'm going to have a baby! <laughs> that's impossible! Yeah, that's what she said! You just can't trust women, can you? <laughs> but, but, how did it happen? Oh, come on, Rick, how old are you? <laughs> well, that's rather a personal question, isn't it? <laughs> didn't your mother ever tell you about the birds and the bees? Mine did, but I didn't believe her. <laughs> Well, I mean, what if the bird got stung, like, halfway through? <laughs> well, I mean, there's a big size difference, isn't there? I mean, like, ostriches are really big. Oh, 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 no! Now the contractions have started! Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, quick, quick! Uh, Mike, Mike, uh, get some boiling towels. Uh, Rick, clean water. Um, uh, Vivian, Vivian, uh, sit down, take the weight off your feet. What do you mean, sit down? There aren't any chairs! Hey, and all the towels have been burnt. Oh, no! Uh, we've got to buy some furniture for Vivian, quickly! We can't! We haven't got any money! Oh, no! Vivian's baby will be a pauper! Oliver Twist! Jeffrey Dickens! Back to Victorian values! I hope you're satisfied, Badger! <laughs> money! Got some money, very quickly! All right, there's only one thing for it, Neil. You're right. I've got to join the army before Vivian has a baby. <laughs> <laughs> I've just been round my neighbour's house to borrow a drill, but he wasn't in. <laughs> so I broke in and ate his fish tank, and I wasn't even hungry. <laughs> you won't catch me with me trousers. <laughs> What time is it? Rick, that's the hundredth time you've asked me. Yes, I know, and every time I ask you, you don't tell me! Well, it's time you got a watch! I got a watch! I'm just not very good at telling the time yet. <laughs> well, the small hand's on the floor, ah! and the... <laughs> How's it going? I hate it. I hate it. Well, of course you hate it, Neil. It's not finished yet. Well, it's finished as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> This way I'm still half fashionable. What are you talking about? You're 150% fashion. The army can't say no to this suit. <laughs> well, thanks for letting me hire it, Mike. I still tend to think that the whole outfit is somewhat on the snug side. Oh, come on, come on. The recruiting office closes in one hour. Yeah, come yeah, on. Yeah, come, come on, come on. on. Don't, Don't tell them you're a pacifist. <laughs> You said I was a pacifist. <laughs> well, we're back to square one. God, look at this weather. Anyone think it was winter? Yes. A chap could lose his bearings in weather like this. <laughs> Do you see what I see? Oh, brilliant. Neil, you're joining the police. <laughs> Entry. 
Hello. Uh, I've come to join the police force, but I shouldn't think you'd take me. You know. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Aren't you Benito Mussolini, conqueror of Abyssinia and former dictator of Italy? No. <laughs> so, uh, what can I do for you? Uh, oh, yeah, well, it's about joining the police force, but I don't think I'm, you know, correctly job-motivated. Oh, for sure you are, for sure. Hey, there's only one thing you need to know to be a policeman, you know? Yeah. Really, one thing you have to do, and that you have to be able to go... <coughs> <coughs> you know, like... <coughs> for when you are talking into your radio, you know? You go... I <coughs> say that. That's right. You go, Charlie, Tango, Tea, Kettle, Barbecue. That's right, that's right. Now you practice going, and if you don't get it right, I kick your head in. Fascist. See? Okay, now, here is the uniform. Take that with you, and as you go out, watch out for the special branch. I don't see what's so special about that. I've got a degree in computer science. That's what. Yeah, that's quite special. Yeah. It's been a terrible uh, blow to my life looking like Mussolini, you know. Um, especially when I was a kid, you know. I was about seven, right, you know. And I was down the youth club, you know, dancing away, right, you know, in the 60s, doing a twist, you know. And um, this girl comes up to me and she goes, um, Eh, are you Mussolini? <laughs> I said, um, um, yeah, yeah. She says, uh, I thought you was dead. I said, no, it was just me day off, you know. <laughs> so she pulled me over the dance floor and butted me in the face. I said, what's that for? She said, that's for the invasion of Crete. <laughs> well, that's a and now it's the Chinese contest into the Eurovision Song Contest. It's Il Duce with this year's entry. Take it away, Duce! Yes! Come on! Whenever people bother me, when they shout and raise their voices, I don't let it get me down. I just make some stupid noises. I go, the sack because you've lost all his invoices. Don't drink a bottle of sulfuric acid. Relax, make stupid noises. Just go, yo, 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 nick, nick, no, walk out. This mom, bing, bong, yikty, yikty, wick, oh, 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 nickty, knock, one, wiggly, one, two, two, wiggly, you know, I have the most terrible craving for a piece of fried lavatory paper. <laughs> well, that's just too bad, Vivian, because you finished the last rule last week. Uh, <laughs> is there anything I can do for you, Vivian? Um, yeah. Kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> now, I was wondering um, <clears throat> if you thought of a name uh, for your baby yet? Shut up or piss off! Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> that, 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 that's the two names I'm considering. I mean, that'd be very handy in later life, you know, for getting into fights and things. Ow! Oh, oh, it's kicking! <laughs> oh, Vivian, um. Would it be all right? I mean, could I have a bit of a bit of a listen? Yeah. Help yourself! Ooh. You can hear it kicking! I can't hear anything. All I can hear is... <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's very public spirit of your rig, thanks. <laughs> Hello, PC-13. Hello, PC-13. Oh, that's me, right? Um... Right. Uh, uh, hello? Yeah, uh, here I am. Uh, what is your location, PC-13? Uh, well, well, uh, I'm outside, right? But, like, don't worry, cos, like, everything's really mellow, OK? 68 Riot Street. So get round there, smash the place up, 
Right, right. <laughs> okay. Here goes. One, man. <laughs> hey! Don't flush the toilet! It's cool! It's only nil! <laughs> hey, man! Where'd you get that gear from? Oh, uh, down the police station. Well, you had me fault. I've just eaten half my stash. But look, look, hold on. This is, this is very heavy. No, it's not, man. We've got plenty more inside. Come on in. Take the tit off your head. <laughs> Come on in, man. Hey, Neil's come as Mr. Blood. Right, listen, everybody, go home. It isn't safe. Take your stashes. It's not safe here. Hey, no, Neil, well, it's safe here. This house is built on a lola. Says who? The wall. <laughs> no, listen, Stonehenge. No, listen, everybody, right? Listen it. <laughs> right, listen. Oh, no. Steve <laughs> Village. Anyway, listen, everybody, right? Like, I don't want to bring the whole evening down or anything, okay, but, like, uh, well, basically, you're all under arrest. Hey, look, everybody, look what I just uh, found. Look, look, uh, Hello, look. Earth, can you read me? This is Starship Captain Warlock from the Planet Freaker. Broadcasting to you on the intellectual galactic airwaves. Can you read me, Earth? Let me receive you. Do you require assistance? Oh, right out, man. Uh, yeah, we require ten assistance. Preferably Swedish. Yeah. Oh, no. I knew I should have stuck to rum punch. Four kings, two queens, and an ace. Royal flush, five aces, and a jack, right? Look. Do we have to keep playing this game? Why can't we play something like fish that I'm good at? Come on, Rick, what have you got? One, three. <laughs> Damn! Trousers? <laughs> it does seem rather strange to me that people with an R in their name are only allowed one card. <laughs> I mean, I must every single game because of that. Trousers? Right. <laughs> right. Another round? All oh, right. Ow! Oh, God, well, Neil, I better bloody well hurry up with the money. We've got no food, we've got no heat, we've got no light. Now I've got a wacky great splinter up my bottom. Not <laughs> Neil, Ricky, I've got everything sorted. Oh. oh, so you've got everything sorted, have you, Mike? Well, what have you sorted? I suppose you've arranged for a, a massive great articulated lorry loaded with money and food and everything we need to come smashing through the front windows, have you? <laughs> Sorry, sorry, sorry. Well, guys, I just don't know what to say. It's a bloody game, any day. What is chess? <laughs> if you have a nosebleed. Wrong house. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, that's fine. Thank you very much, little old man. Have a large sum of money. <laughs> Go away quickly. Well, all this was a piece of luck. Yes, a frightfully good piece of fortune. Cigar, Mike? Oh, I don't mind if I do. 
This caviar's really great as well, isn't it? <laughs> James Bond smokes these, you know. Oh, no. In their desperation, the guys must have turned into experienced furniture thieves. Right. Woo, 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 woo. OK, freeze. This is a raid. Fine, oh, hell. What's some champagne? <laughs> Just button your lip, chummy. <laughs> You're on my manor and we've tumbled your game. Oh, come on, Neil. Pull up a chaise longs. There's going to be no chaise longs where you're going, Mikey boy. Now, I hope you'll all come quietly. No, no, we're all going to come very noisily. Yes. <laughs> Quick, get the stirrups. I'm going to hug my baby now. <laughs> Look what your bomb tactics have done, fascist. Quick, dial 999. Get an ambulance. I can't watch this. Congratulations, babe. Well, what have we got, a boy or a girl? No, Mike, no! 